Today's double feature, taking place in the land of the rising sun, are two movies that I have never seen before. Now, being autistic, I find it difficult to read and absorb information. Looking through the various synopsises and critic notes, I found this on the IMDB website. And for me, it is the best single line description of the first movie. Death comes from within the ocean of reeds. Presenting Kaneto Shindo's Onibaba. The story centers on two women during the 14th century civil war. In order to make ends meet, they hide in the grasslands robbing wandering samurai of their lives and wares. But when a neighbor returns and starts a love affair with the younger woman, the older woman feels scorned and alone. After tricking another victim to their death, the older woman uses their possessions, which includes the famous Hanya mask, to scare the younger one into coming home. But karma, can be an evil mistress. <laughs> Shot in Chiba Prefecture, the cinematography was both atmospheric and haunting, and it proved like Psycho, that in the colourful 1960s, monochrome can still be breathtaking. It would go on to win praise and awards all over the world. In the UK, it was rejected outright, but was gutted when submitted a second time. Today it's available as the director intended. When director William Friedkin first saw it, it scared him to the bone. Now that's not a direct quote, but it did influence him. The image of Pazuzu in his movie The Exorcist was inspired by the demon mask. The debt Western cinema owes Japan is insurmountable. 